George Ripley was one of the most influential transcendentalists of the Reform era. Born to a merchant father who stressed hard in group work, he ended up getting pushed into Harvard University, which was a liberal Unitarian school. Here, he developed Unitarian views, but still wanted to develop knowledge on society. To do this, he decided to go on and attend the Harvard Divinity School, a place more focused on religion. Here, he developed knowledge and such strong views that he became a minister out of college at the Boston Purchase Street Church, a very popular church in this era. At this church, he along with his friends, Ralph Waldo Emerson, George Putnam, and other colleagues, created a group called the Transcendentalist Club. In this club, Transcendentalists would come together and have discussions about Transcendentalism, such as where the movement was going and topics about the Dial and the Harbinger, which were literature written to spread this new idea of Transcendentalism. After outlining the Transcendentalist beliefs, such as importance and efficiency of humans, the unity rather than the trinity of God, and the happiness overall, he decided to move on and create Brook Farm, which completely revolutionized the Transcendentalist movement. The farm was completely out of sight from society and was against industrialism as they thought it was ruining the country. At this farm, instead of forcing kids to work, they strived for self-harmony and overall mental peace while they still had structure in their lives by getting educated with amazing schools. For adults, all of their jobs were structured around the farm and everyone got paid the same. While this does seem crazy, they thought it was a good financial move because they didn't have to pay anyone extreme amounts. Most workers were farmers, as it was planned. A woman named Elizabeth Peabody, a planner of the farm, said agriculture would be the basis of their life. They wanted to be so self-sufficient that they wouldn't even have to talk to the outside world. They believed if they didn't buy from them, they didn't support them. They even manufactured their own clothes. The members of Brook Farm believed that they could create a utopian society that would eventually serve as a model for this type of culture. In order for people who are not on the farm to have access to the transcendentalist morals and ethics, they would have to be taught about them. And Ripley wanted Brook Farm to be the place that people looked for. This is where Ripley's views that he got in college come into play as he wanted everyone to have equal amounts of access to education. While his religious views came into play, as he said, we can have no doubt that religion will always be perpetuated by the same causes that we first gave it existence, we regard it as an emanation from the internal mind. Ripley believes that everyone should have peace at mind, and if that is acquired, then religion has done its job. Brook Farm didn't last for a long while, as a big uninsured building burned down and the farm financially couldn't pay for it. In order to protect themselves, a lot of people left so they weren't stuck paying for it. Although it didn't last long, its effects will last an eternity. Women were given more opportunities on the farm so it influenced them to come together for reform, it helped children receive better and higher education, and helped America live a more peaceful life.